Lake Keeley is often revered as one of the best places to retire to in the south and it's especially revered as one of the most scenic lakes in the southeast. So if you're thinking about relocating to Lake Keeley or if you're thinking about buying a second home on Lake Keeley, you're going to want to know everything that there is to know about the lake. So in this video what we'll talk about is the things that I love about Lake Keeley and I know it's a strong word but the things I also hate about Lake Keeley. Let's do it. And as always, my name is Will Sawyer. I'm a local realtor here in the upstate of South Carolina, and I service Lake Kiwi, Lake Hartwell, and Greenville and the surrounding suburbs. And if you're just wanting to know more information about the area, or if you're looking to actually relocate to our area, I would love to be the realtor that you choose to work with. And we hope that this YouTube channel is your number one resource for all things that you need to know about the upstate of South Carolina. So there's a ton to love about Lake Kiwi. And the first thing that comes to mind is how scenic the lake is. So Lake Kiwi has been in publications like Southern Living, Country Living, and many more uh, magazines, newspapers, uh, internet articles about how beautiful of a lake it is. Um, it's been named uh, one of the best places to retire um, in the entire country right here on Lake Kiwi. Um, so when you come to the lake you'll definitely notice at least on the north side of the lake mountain views like you see behind me um, pretty much everywhere you are. Um, so one very scenic um, and two lots of great mountain views that you can look at throughout the day on the water. Another thing I love about Lake Kiwi is it's great for water sports. So you'll see all types of boats, pontoons, ski boats, fishing boats, uh, wakeboard boats. Um, with 20,000 acres, you know, just under 20,000 acres, there's a lot of space to safely do your water sports, like your wakeboarding, your inner tubing, your wake surfing, your jet skiing. Um, so if you have the family out on a holiday, yeah, it's gonna be busy, but there's plenty of room to safely I uh, do all those water sports that everybody's going to want to do when they come into town. So if you're not just a pleasure boater, another great thing about Lake Kiwi is it's great for fishing. So you'll see all types of boats out here, um, especially bass boats early in the mornings, late in the evenings fishing for largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, spotted bass, trout, white and black crappie, um, tons of other fish as well. So if you're not just a pleasure boater, and you want to actually come out here on the water in the morning when it's glassy um, and get your fishing done, Lake Kiwi is a great place to do that as well. So one thing that I personally love as well about Lake Kiwi is the location of it. So like I've said in previous videos and in this video, um, Lake Kiwi is a little bit of a remote lake. It's in the northwest corner of South Carolina in the mountain region. Um, so on the northern part of the lake, you can see uh, there's mountain views and then on the southern part of the lake you're a little bit closer to things um, but when you're out here on the water you're gonna feel like you're kind of in the middle of nowhere which is really nice it's really peaceful um, on holiday weekends it's gonna be a lot busier than it is now but any given day during the week it's gonna be pretty quiet um, on the weekends it'll of course get busier um, but location wise as far as where Lake Kiwi is you know, if you're on the northern part of the lake, like where we are now, Pickens is going to be your nearest town. It's a small town that's really seeing a lot of growth and money being poured into that small town. Um, it's about 15, 20 minutes away. And if you're on the southern part of the lake, uh, you're going to be closer to Seneca and Clemson. And if you're on the southern part of the lake, those two areas are going to be about 5 to 20 minutes away from you at any given point. So if you're not only interested in doing things on the water when you're moving to Lake Kiwi or visiting for the weekend, um, there's an abundance of things to do around here. Uh, you can hike to Estate Falls, you can hike to Twin Falls, you can come where we are now in Kiwi Toxaway State Park and camp um, or take a dip into the water. Like I've mentioned, we're really close to Clemson. So um, if you have a child going to Clemson University or you're a Clemson Tiger fan, uh, you can quickly jump over 
to go watch a football game or a basketball game or another sporting event or jump on the campus very quickly. Um, and if you want to go into downtown Greenville, depending on where you are on the lake, it's gonna be about 45 minutes to an hour to get downtown Greenville to go have you a nice steak um, or go check out all the things that are going on in that awesome city. So you can also pretty quickly get over to Asheville um, if you're wanting to go check out some wineries or some breweries. So location wise, you know, Lake Kiwi is a little bit more remote, but it's in the middle of a lot of things close to Clemson, close to downtown Greenville, which has a ton of buzz around it right now. And then it's a really quick drive to get up to Asheville if you want to go up into the mountains as well. So truth be told, there's really not a lot that I don't like about Lake Kiwi, but I did have to think about and find some things to share with you that may be disadvantages um, about the lake. As I've mentioned in previous videos, you know, Lake Kiwi is remote, right? So if you're on the south side of the lake, you're gonna be eh, five to 20 minutes away from Seneca. But if you're on the northern part of the lake where it's a little bit more scenic, a little bit more exclusive, you're gonna be up to 30 to 40 minutes away from Seneca, which is gonna be your nearest emergency room. And the nearest hospital is gonna be Baptist and Easley, which is gonna be about 30 minutes away, depending on where you are at the lake. And the second disadvantage possibly for Lake Kiwi, and it's kind of an obvious one, but in the summertime, right now, it's getting pretty hot, right? So temperatures here in South Carolina will average in the high 80s, low 90s during the summertime, and it's pretty humid. So if you're outside working in your yard on the lake, or if you're out at one of the parks, just make sure you bring a lot of water or you have quick access to the water. That way you can cool off if you need to jump in or drink some water. The last two things that aren't too great about Lake Kiwi is for your everyday conveniences, you're gonna to have to travel a little bit like I've said. So if you're on the southern part of the lake, you're not gonna to have to travel as far, maybe five to 20 minutes to get to Seneca. But if you're on the northern part of the lake, uh, the town that's going to be closer to you is Pickens, and that's going to be a, at least 15 to 30 minute drive to get things like groceries. And the last thing would be the cost of real estate. So if you want to be lakefront on Lake Kiwi, it's really going to start you around $800,000. Now, if you're okay with an interior lot, all right, we can get you on the lake or around the lake for maybe four to $500,000. But if you want to be able to launch your boat from your dock, the barrier to entry here is gonna be about $800,000 and quickly escalate up into the millions. So just something to think about if you're thinking about buying a piece of real estate here on Lake Kiwi. So tell us what we missed. What do you love about Lake Kiwi? And what do you not like about Lake Kiwi? If you think there's something that we left out, please leave us the comments in the comment section. And if you found this information helpful, Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We would love for you to hang out with us in the future and check out future videos. If you're thinking about buying a home here on Lake Kiwi as a second home, or if you're thinking about selling your house and relocating to Lake Kiwi full time, please reach out to me as well at my email below or my cell phone number below. I would love to chat with you about what that transition could look like for you, and possibly your family. If you would like an exclusive list of homes that are currently available for sale or an exclusive list of lots that are currently available for sale on the water here on Lake Kiwi, reach out to me as well. I would love to provide you that list. As always, my name is Will Sawyer, your friend in real estate here in the upstate of South Carolina. And if you're seriously thinking about making a move here, I would love to be the realtor that you choose to work with. Thanks so much.